Hello YouTube. Today we're going to do discussion on subcooling. Subcooling is going to be how much cooling after saturation did we get or apply to the refrigerant for system operation. You have to remember to follow the formula. It's going to be high side saturation minus liquid line temperature to calculate subcooling. That is the formula it is specific you have to have there. Here we've got our compressor, condenser, filter dryer, TXV, and evaporator. For this, we're talking subcooling, so right there, we don't even need the low side of the system. All we're going to focus on is the high side here. Superheat's on the low side, subcooling's on the high side. <clears throat> so, refrigerant's going to go here, and this part is going to be your discharge line, where it's a high pressure, high temperature, superheated vapor. Your condenser, oh, right in this area, is going to do something we call desuperheating. In this area of the condenser right here, is where it's condensing, going through a change of state. This last little bit right here for the condenser, that's your subcooling circuit where we're giving additional cooling to the refrigerant. So let's say we've got a high side saturation of 90 degrees for our refrigerant. It just doesn't matter on the type, it's just the temperature we have. If you have a liquid line temperature of, oh, let's say 80 degrees. Fahrenheit minus equal we're going to come up with a magic number of 10 degrees for sub cooling that's going to be taken on our high side of the system here right in this general area right here I know Gotta move my fat hand out of the way, right? Subcooling is taken right here. That's where you get a pressure and temperature. Not necessarily saying before the filter dryer, I'm just showing the filter dryers in the liquid line with the TXV. If you don't follow the formula that we have stated there of high side saturation minus liquid line and try to do, say, a big number minus little number deal, well, you'll calculate the wrong information. If you had a saturation of, we'll say, 80 degrees and a liquid line temperature of 90 degrees and you did not follow the formula, you might calculate and go, hey, I got 10 degrees subcooling, this system should be working right. No, you don't have 10 degrees, you did it backwards. You would technically be at negative 10 degrees which would say there is no subcooling you actually have or do not have I should say any liquid refrigerant right there for the TXV to work right for the evaporator to work right for the whole system to work right there is no subcooling you can essentially say with that negative 10 reading you have strictly refrigerant vapor going through the system not any liquid refrigerant, so nothing's going to work right on it. All it is, give this explanation here. Let's say right here in the condenser, we're at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. What that means is the refrigerant is going through a change of state from a vapor to a liquid. Remember, that can't happen until it has been desuperheated. Let's see if I can write that there. D super heated. Okay, look, I can think I can spell today, so we're doing good. Anyways, that's the temperature the change of state is going on. We're not adding heat, we're not removing heat, we're just changing state at 90 degrees. Once we go through that last portion of the condenser and get right there on the outlet. That's where we can have subcooled liquid, you know, high pressure, warm, subcooled liquid for system operation. For TXV, you charge the system by subcooling. 
you can't charge it by superheat because a TXV maintains superheat, so you have to charge by subcooling. Your fixed orifice metering devices, you charge by superheat, but you still check the subcooling so you know what's going on on both sides of the system. Without that, you have no clue what's going on if you only just do one reading versus the other. So hopefully that'll get you some information and help you pass your test. Because, you know, class, there is tests coming up on this stuff later. Any questions, feel free to comment. Have a nice day.